guys, over the past few weeks, what we've been doing is, is highlighting the new warehouse mobile app that was released by Microsoft this year. The old app or the current app is going to be de deprecated in April of 2022. So if you have any new projects starting, you should definitely start using that new app um, instead of the older one, because that thing's going to be gone before, before we know it. Now, the good news is that you can use them both. At the same time, I've mentioned that in several videos, you can run them both at the same time perfectly well. There's no ill effects that I've found from doing that. And I don't suspect there's really any way that, that there could be any ill effects from that. So initially we went over uh, the purchasing process, the inbound process with it. And then we went ahead and the next video that it did was the outbound process. And then uh, last week, what I did was the an inventory process, which is the inventory movement process. Now what we're going to take a look at today is some newer new functionality that's, that's not available in the current app, and and I don't I'm pretty sure that this isn't going to work in the current app. Now that I think I haven't verified that, but I would I I can't imagine that this functionality is going to work in the current app, and that's the ability for the app to store the user settings. It's it's actually when we turn this on, it's going to add a couple of screens inside Dynamics 365, um, and you're going to be able to store the user settings and, and where that uh, comes into play is like, if I'm a user, I'm switching devices. My settings are going to follow me now. Also, if you're an admin, uh, you can set up settings for certain devices and those settings will just take, take effect uh, when the person logs in. So some kind of neat functionality there that we'll, we're going to take a look at today. So let's hop into the mobile device and let me just show you what I'm talking about first, before we take a look at the different, um, different menus we're going to, or the new screens have been added inside of Dynamics 365. So on the new mobile app, we have the settings up here. So if we go into settings, there's several things that we can change. You know, the display orientation, we can, we can change it from a portrait or landscape. We can choose to show product photos or not show product photos. If, you know, if they exist in the release product, we can choose to show them or not show them. You can actually pick color themes now. So this is the light theme that I'm on. We can go to a dark theme, which is a dark blue, light blue lettering kind of um, theme. We also have like a high contrast white, which is really bright there. And then we have a, a high contrast black theme as well. Okay. So some other settings, let me go ahead and change this back to the light here. Um, we can choose our button position here. So this is handy if you've got, depending on the device you're using, you know, right now, you, know, you have the hamburger menu on the top and I believe the OK button's always at the bottom. But what this allows you to do is allow you to move that button around based on the device configuration and maybe also to, based on if the person is left or right handed, right? So you can um, you, you can move the button around. Let me just show you what, what I mean by that. So if I go here, I'm, I've got it set to bottom right here and the best screen that I think I can show this to you and if I go into inventory and go to location inquiry, we see our, our check mark, our blue check mark is, is here in the bottom right part of the screen. So let me cancel out of that. And if we go back to the settings, so we, we can see here that we can now we can move that around. Um, let's say we want it on the uh, top right, all right? So let's go ahead and we'll go and do that on the top right. We'll go back into our location inquiry screen. And so now notice our button is up here. So again, depending on the device, it may make sense to have it on the bottom right, or if the person is left-handed, you may want it on the bottom left, or maybe the device it makes sense to have them on the top. So you can you can move the buttons around now uh, using the settings, and, and these are you know these are kept by user. So on this button here, we we've got four positions we can we can move it to. We can do top left, top right, bottom left, or bottom right. And if, you, if it's a screen with a slider, it will, it'll put the slider up top. So it, it, it moves the main button um, in, in these different different spots there, right? So you've got uh, options there. I'm going to change mine back to the bottom right on there. You can, there's an option for scanning with the camera. So if if you've got your, your field set up to be a scanned field and your device has got a camera rather than a scanner, you will, you'll want to make sure that this is set to yes. So it uses this the camera rather than a scanner. Um, if you, if you do have a scanner, you'd want to generally make sure that's no, you have the vibration level on here that you can set the sound level that you can set the text scale. So if, if you're working on a small screen, the, the text is too small. You can click on the text scale. We'll just increase this up just so you can see that I'll double it there so we can see what that looks like. Um, and then, so see our text goes way up there, our scale of our text, you know, 
if we look at the screen, it'll go back here. So it just makes the text larger um, for you there. So we'll go back to settings. And then go back and I'll change that back because it's too big for me. Change it back down to 100. There we go. Click off of it and that'll, that'll fix it back. You have the same thing for the, the button scales or the icons. You can scale those up or scale those down. And then you have the server request timeout. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into feature management. There is a, a feature that we need to turn on. So if we go to feature management and then I'm just going to go to all. This did get put in place in, in dot 17, I believe, is, is the first version I saw this in. So if I click here and let's go ahead and filter down to uh, user... I think user settings is what it starts with. Yeah, that is user settings, icons, and step titles for the new warehouse app there. So I've already turned that on. That's something you need to turn on. Now, once you get that turned on, if we go into the warehouse management section in Dynamics 365, if we go under uh, setup and mobile device, we get these two extra menus that show up. So we get mobile device brands and mobile device user settings. All right. So let's go to this one first. This is the simplest one. It'll make it'll make sense once we get to the user settings. What you can do is you can come in here and you can set up brands and models uh, for the different devices. Now, I actually didn't add these. What it'll do is when it detects your brand, you're going to see in a minute, I've got a user setting that adds as well. It's going to automatically add the, the manufacturer and the device model here. So you can you can manually go in here and set up the device model in the in the brand, but I think if I was an admin, I would just log in the device and have it create these for me. Because sometimes these models IDs, I've seen them, they're they're huge, right? They're long and it's hard to find. So I think I would just as an admin, I would log in and just have it create these for us. So let's see what this will do for, for us. If we go into the mobile device, um, oh sorry, I went in the wrong. Oh, that, that was it. Sorry. Uh, so if I, the, the item here is mobile device user settings. And th again, this record gets created for me automatically as well. So it's got my, my device name, my model and my user ID. And then these are all the same settings that were from my device, right? So as a user, if I change one, so notice here, I've got, I'll use my button press here as the example. I've got it set to bottom right, it's bottom right here. If I come in here and I change that to top right, and uh, let's get out of it just so I make sure it's saved. And I refresh this screen, you're going to see it's going to update here. Okay. Now, one thing I have noticed is, you know, normally on the mobile device, you don't have to fully log out for, you know, to, for menu settings to take effect. It does look like I, I have to completely log out for these to take effect. So if I change this to uh, bottom right, it actually wouldn't show on the device until I logged out and logged back in. I I think that's correct as far as I can tell that that seems to be the uh, the way it works but it is updating this immediately so as an admin I can control what the users have so if a user's having a problem you know my screen's a weird color you know they may have the wrong display theme out there another thing that I can do as an administrator I can come in here and I can do new and let's, I can create a just a Lenovo brand um, and hit save here and it's basically would be for all models and all users and give it a, give it a default there. So when the user logs in, they have default settings. So maybe on this device, you know, the default for the button needs to be the, the top left just because of the orientation of the device. Maybe it's a, a, a landscape device there. So, so as an admin, I can come in and I can set up profiles that it'll take and it, it basically picks the profile based on uh, make model user combination, right? So it picks the most specific one it finds there. Okay, so I thought I'd show you this. This is it's a it's a real handy thing for especially admins when you're setting up a device. So when somebody logs into the device, you know they're gonna you're gonna know exactly what they're gonna see. So you, they have control of their menu, what the menu looks like, the text sizes, where the buttons are, that sort of thing. And it can be personalized still by the user, um, but you you can at least start off with an admin. Okay, so again, this will be this this will wrap up kind of our series on the new mobile device. This will be the fourth video in the series. So, I hope I've given you a good taste of um, what the new mobile app looks like and, and how to use it. Um, 
it is like I said the old one is deprecating so be sure you you know you start transitioning your, your projects and your customers to that new mobile device okay so again hope you found some value in this video if you did give it a like or thumbs up and I'll be starting a new series next week we'll do we'll pick another topic we'll start rolling with that one so if, if you like the content that I put out feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video okay so again, hope hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some value in this video. Have a great week. Thanks for watching. See you later.